guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and yes, I know, you love my science videos. I get a lot of feedback from them, which is funny because, you know, sometimes they don't always work out. But today, I want to do something that's really cool, and it's working, which is even better. We're going to do something called walking water. I like to call it the walking rainbow because it's so beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this experiment. It's really simple, but I want you to try it at home because it's something that takes a little while to do but the results are really awesome. So, first thing you're gonna do is have mom and dad go out and buy a couple clear glasses. In fact, you're gonna need seven of them, as a matter of fact, to really get a, your bang for the buck out of this. Then, you're gonna take four of those, one, two, three, four, and you're gonna fill them with regular clear water. Ask mom and dad again, hey mom and dad, I still need you to buy me something food coloring. And you guys all have seen food coloring at the store, it's just these little capsules. Don't get it on you, because it stains everything, but get these little things of coloring here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put that in the water. So you're going to want to do a red. So boop, 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 boop. We're going to put some red in there. And if you want, you can take a spoon and stir that up. That's up to you. I like to stir it just because I think it looks cool. Then you take a blue, you skip the empty cup. You take that next bottle or that next cup of water, you put that blue in there, stir it up. Oh, that's nice looking. Then you go to yellow, put that food coloring in there. Stir it up again. As I said, I'm going to spill it on myself and get stained. And last but not least, you take red one more time and you put red in there. And use a lot of it. I didn't use that much here, but use a lot of that food color. Make that real nice and dark because that'll help the experiment. Now, the next thing you're going to do is get yourself some paper towels. And it doesn't matter if it's a paper towel like this. It could be a roll of paper towels. And you're going to cut those paper towels into little slivers like this. You want them to be pretty long and you want them to be pretty thick. You're going to take that, you're going to fold it up into a little slip like that, then you're going to fold it in half. And what you're going to do is you're going to simply put that piece of paper towel in the water down to the other side. So one end in the water, one end into the dry cup. Then you're going to do that again. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that slip of paper, put it in the yellow, and you're going to put it in the other cup. And you're going to do that all the way down into each color. Now, if you guys remember from school, or if you're in school, you remember primary colors. You add primary colors together and you get secondary colors. That's what we're doing. So now, take a look at the final product. Look what's happening here. Now, like I said, this is going to probably take 24 hours to be real, but you got the red, you got the blue, the water travels up the paper towel, down in, and right now we got some purple being made. This one's really good. You got the blue, you got the yellow, what does that make? Look at that, green, and it's traveling down the paper towel. And last but not least, that looks orange, but that's yellow, and red makes orange. Look at that, there is orange in there. We have made secondary colors right here with water. Who knew water was such good travelers? It is so cool. And guys, a little secret, my staff, they love this. They've been coming in here about every hour seeing how far the water has gone. So if you think this is just a little kid experiment, ha, think again. The adults love it too. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy with some great science for you to do at home. See you soon.